Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Barn on Eleven Nine Seventy. Thank you for watching my video. All right, guys. Um, I just want to show you guys how trusting cash and dollars and euros just really doesn't make sense these days. Because I don't know how many people watched my old videos from my old channel, or even um, a few other ones I made earlier in this channel. Is um, I've always talked about the euro and the dollar like two sinking ships, and people, for some reason, go from one ship to the other even though they're both sinking. Just because they're not sinking at the same time doesn't mean they're not eventually going to go underwater. Now, I would love for somebody to explain to me how basically over the past day, day and a half, how the euro goes from 1.33 to 1.30, which means the dollar has gained strength, the euro has lost strength. And basically what's going on is there's no real explanation for it because the last time I checked, people were praising about how good the euro is and how there's a recovery over in Europe. Well, at least that's what the mainstream media tries to tell you. And of course, as you can see, it just goes back and forth and people keep saying, oh, well, you know, this week we're going to invest in the dollar. This week you're better off going to the euro. When it just goes back and forth and people continue to lose money while the banks just gain it all. Um, I did notice that there was a dip again in gold and silver overnight and which it's recovered now. Um, we're seeing silver roughly about plus 18 at the moment at uh, 29.27 roughly. It's fluctuating as we speak. Um, gold is back over 1600 at 1609. Uh, we've got um, platinum at 1615, so gold and platinum are pretty much almost even at this point. And we see palladium at 743. So, like I've always said, guys, um, there is no guarantee that there won't be any more dips. But uh, as you see, every time there is a little dip, it does recover. So it's showing that they don't have the control on it that they used to have even as far as early as a year ago when they could pump millions of ounces of paper silver into the market or paper gold into the market and drop it three, four dollars at a time. Now you're seeing drops of maybe a dollar or less and then within 24 hours to another, you know, 48 hours, we see recovery. So the whole... Could it go down, you know, to 20? I'm sure it absolutely could because nothing is impossible. But as we see, it still hasn't broken 26 yet. And each time there's a little bit of a dip, we're seeing it is recovering, which means people are buying into the market. So where it goes from there, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I'll tell you this much. If you trust in the dollar or the euro, you're just wasting your money because it just goes back and forth all the time to the point where it's just ridiculous. I personally would rather stick with precious metals and just sit it out, ride the wave, um, enjoy the roller coaster ride that is the currency wars that are going on throughout the world, and come out ahead in the long run. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will talk soon. Peace.